What is up, guys? ACL, JGP, JGP, I'm Jacob, and I'm back bringing you guys Road to Conquer episode. What is this? Uh, 13? Episode 13, I'm pretty sure. That's what I think it is. Episode 13, because that must have. Yeah. Episode 13, we won the welterweight. Now we have lightweight and welterweight. So we're gonna. We're now we are in our legend contract. So here we go. Let's see what, what Dana White got in store for me now. Can I choose my fights, or am I. I have to fight these guys. Probably have to fight them. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna get fucked in welterweight. If anything, Woodley did. He, he showed me that you have to be. Prove my. Uh, prove my health. I mean, it's good I don't have no f fucking rival again. Love that, I wanna go to the other gym, but no! He gave me the big, haha, fuck you! And I can go to that gym. But we entered this gym. Let's see, what can I learn from... Oh, chop what? Guapo. Lead six to twelve elbow. Six one. <clears throat> Get my combos down. Alright, target practice to the head. Go out there and ring his bell. I wanna see more. Nice combo. Not knock me, motherfucker. That's the entry. Put him down. You rung his bell. There you go. You gotta step in and start throwing. More of that. That'll do damage. Come on. Great combo to the head. That'll hurt. Nice combo to the head. Keep it up. Show him something else. Give a different look. There we go. I like that. Dig deep. There we go. Knock him out. Ooh, ooh, nice ooh, combo. Ooh, ooh. Come on now. You gotta work. That's the way, headhunter. You got more. That's how you hit the head. Great combo to the head. Let's get in there. Let's get after it. Come on, man. Come on. You can't just stand on the outside all day. Get in there. Nice combo to the head. Keep it up. Put it all together. Way to land. Come on. You got to stay active in there. Big shot. Target the head. Get way to get your opponent out seconds. of there with big headshots. That's what we need in this next fight. Oh, I don't need a, a, a guapo. Good, I don't want to be stalked and slapping some fools. I want to be fucking Hamick, overhand killing them. But 
and the fifth is flying me, let's see. That's how you need it, okay, okay. Now, so that stupid Stockton slap. I mean, Stockton slap is cool as fun, but like it doesn't stun him. It's just a slap. Like it's not even like a cool. The game doesn't even make it so it's like cool. I'm get my wrestling up. All right, let's work on taking your opponent down and advancing in the half guard. Come on now, let's go. You're giving him too much space. I won that, right? Good double leg takedown. Let's watch this shit. Oh fuck! No, it's, it's not the big boy one. Where yeah, I got a ground game. I mean... I need to improve it because like I, I, I don't even like take fools down I knock I make them knock down then we get it to the ground or like Muay Thai throw them I don't gotta do anything I need the one that is in Muay Thai so what, what else can I learn from anyone else a necktie and a oh, Kickboxing. That's not bad. I'm gonna do these two. And then we're done. We're done learning from other people. Working on punch accuracy. I want you to land at a high percentage. There we go. Touch him up. That's precise. No! Now I'm talking. Nice distance. No. Oh, oh bitch. You I really got. touched him up out there. Look at his fucking nose. I got... Let's do a perk first. I don't, I don't punch in the clinch. I need, I got, if I think I'll put Ty's hair, but there you go. Dirty box is cool, but like, it's not, I, I'm I'm good. Now one more learning session, then we can start training like normal.
really don't really uh, like, care for. I only really care for that kickbox combo on five. Okay, kickboxing only today. I want to see a lot of kicks until I say stop. Move! Right on target. That's on point. That's it. Try it again. Good precision. Oh, fuck. Beautiful job. Your Caught kicks him. look so easy. Anytime you see it, just throw it. What's Taekwondo? I mean, I think I don't know. Taekwondo. I got a spinning head kick. I'm not gonna spinning head kick someone. I mean, it'd be cool, but it's not really something I'm looking for. Well, that's cool. I mean, if you hit someone with that, they're fucking dead. I'm trying to think if I fought this episode. I mean, I don't think I did. I'm sorry it's just taking a long, it's gonna be a long episode again. It's gonna promote even more. Of course, we have to promote. Isn't that my favorite? do that other thing and then we'll, then we'll start actually training I'm I, this it's kind of laggy right now If anything's bad, it's my stamina <clears throat> now. 98, 98, 93, 97. Yeah. I learned everything I need from this gym. High fight. Good, good, good. The swim. This is the first fight of this episode, so I need to get a move on. But not you see me there. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Levy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. In mixed martial arts, if you're not evolving, you're losing. 
So, in an effort to make sure he continues on the right path to the top of the welterweight division, this fighter announced this week that in order to keep building his skill set, he was packing his bags and leaving the gym where he got his start. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next like UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 there in the world. Go. And he is out to prove Okay, I don't give a shit. <laughs> or the I'll just let Luke for this, this thing. Main event I don't really care. More than a decade separates these two yeah, fighters. Yeah, he actually got the he's, a, he's a true welter. I'm a fucking lightweight at welter, so I might get rocked. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. I hope I touch both of them. I mean, we're not rivals. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee charges the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment Oh, around the world have been waiting for. Have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Okay, jump, Chris Buffer. Jump. Get your hops up, boy. <laughs> I don't like playing well to it still, man. He's a wrestler. You're wrestle me, bitch. I'll wrestle the shit out of you. I'm not, oh, Nigerian nightmare. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. No, I don't want to touch his gloves. I mean, I will, but no, I don't. Just because he's in the gym. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. One loss, that's fine. He's at 6 feet, one is tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Richmond, Virginia. Presenting the reigning defending. Should we two belts? The two belter. Big Dan, we should touch it. We're not, we're not right. Rivals. Well, if you're doing my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, but not fight. They Thank you. He almost fucking underway. didn't want to touch my gloves. That's fucked up, Mr. Nigerian Nightmare. Ready? All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time I gotta to be careful. Out. So after a win by submission, his last time out, here is the champion. And we'll see if he can do it again. Not a lot of people thought he could do what he did last time in submitting a guy who had never been submitted before. Now he'll try to continue with his winning ways and do so emphatically as he did the last time out in a championship setting. Stakes could not be any higher than they are here tonight. He got me, he got me. Wow, that was a quick takedown. And now is where things could get really interesting. Well, this guy was absolutely everywhere in advance of this, arguably the biggest fight of his UFC career. You may have seen some of the national TV spots he was doing. And with all due respect to the local sticks and TV stations, this guy is now on a totally different uh -huh. level. Everyone in the country wants a piece of him. And now as he tries to take his brand global, the most important thing he can do to uh -huh. the end is to win UFC fights. That initiative continues here and now tonight. Half guard. Nice hammer fist. Oh, I'm gonna get up. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Another shot. Damn. Usman gets the single leg takedown. You wanna play takedown, both of it. Oh, he got reversed. Nah, I'm gonna start eating up on you, bitch. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, nice job. 
in half guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by his. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Very nice sweep. Up to you, bro. Reversal and into full guard. Fuck off me. Oh, he lands a elbow. huge elbow to the head. Back to half guard. He's working from full mount again. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to full guard. Trying to set up a choke here. Now he's got it. Now he's going to rotate to put pressure. This arm triangle looks deep. He might have to tap any second now. Tap out. Yeah. Oh, and my God. Is. You just got bodied. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Yeah, right, I submit I mean, how do you not admire nothing. the focus of this young fighter? You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that That's young deep, fighter bro. here tonight. And here it is again. Beautiful arm triangle submission. Absolutely perfectly executed. Yeah, let's go. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. And another fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murgliot has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! I mean, I was rocking that. My Dana's like, uh huh. Boom, boom. So we're good. We're good. Yeah, he, he actually got to take them right way better control than he did. He, he he wanted the fight to go down there, but he couldn't uh do, do that fight shit. Man. Oh, two point three mil. You a minute. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's starting to become a welcomed habit for UFC fans. See the name of this fighter on the card, and excitement will always follow. If you need proof, it's right there on the record of this welterweight, as he's won several performance of the night bonuses since he made his Octagon debut. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Do a second fight and we're in the episode there, but so who do we fight this time? Wonder Boy. This is second fight, right? Let me let me think. Right, we fought Diaz and then Woodley, and then yeah, yeah. yeah so this is the second fight. God damn, twenty twenty five. What gym do I want to go to? What gym have I done?
I got so confused why the names changed because all the people retired from it. Okay. I've done this one. Yeah, they got Jorge Masvidal. They got Luke Rock. Nick Diaz is the. That's cool. I mean, does the move change or is, do they still get? What it this means now, though. Let's see this one. And now Bish means the top guy. Right, let's see if, if it's Bish means move or do they give them McGregor's? I wonder because like they're all retiring and shit. I was so confused. I was like, why? Where is, uh, like, all the guys? Like, I'm, I'm recognized. Let's see. No, yeah, all this shit changes. Oh, that sucks. I have to do all... So, what, what the fuck does Bisping have? Okay, that that's cool. I mean, cool, sort of. <laughs> I, I don't really want to fucking promote. Let's see what what can we do. Injury in this minor bullshit. Annoying. Rock the fuck out of this. I don't fuck on me and greet my fans. The hell? Get shot up or something, man. wrestling fight but I'm gonna knock him out and of course my grapple First physical therapy. I'm taking it, bro. I'm taking it. Kind of need it. Oh, we're good. We're just getting folks hyped. In Toronto, Canada. 
champion. Yeah, I don't like playing in Welter, but I'm gonna try to knock him on the ground. Okay, yeah, everyone's hating. Got some haters. Got some haters. All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. He's and probably he the best kickbox. Right here, right now. As he makes his way towards Legendary. his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined. Yeah, you get all hype and bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. The champ is here. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? The champion the headed to the cage That's right now is in the, the groove. Face. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared I'm for this contest. I'm very prepared. My strike is going way better. 98, roughly 98. Stamina, like 97. Health, like, or, no, my health, like 97. My grab, or my stamina is like 93. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Thompson is 17. We don't, we don't, we're not gonna watch this stuff. We get the hype. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion Whoa, as he bitch. looks to defend the title okay, yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so. Since here in the strap, we'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. Yeah, he ain't got no takedown defense, though, bitch. Wow, that was a quick takedown. First round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these packed and powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. Get the fuck out of here. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Get the fuck out of here. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there for the champion. Fuck out of here. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Fuck out of here. Wonder boy getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes. Oh, I want to get the elbows. Nope. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Back to half guard. Do something. Wonder Boy gets caught with that punch. He escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Good shots by the champion. Oh, oh big right hand. Hot me. Oh, very nice. Oh, huge block. Thompson gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, man. Defensively, oh. a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Both fighters hanging down. What the, the fuck? Both landing. Pretty good shot there. Oh, nice takedown.
Trying to spin to the back. 30 seconds now to go in round one. And now he is inside control. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Man, that cut has really opened up. Holy he's shit. Up for the end of round one. Just work him on the ground. I don't, uh, I don't want to really box with this guy. Here we go. Second round. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. This is going to be one of those things fuck. where I don't you're just box. wondering what's... What's the opponent going to be able to do to him? Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him? Well, he can wrestle with the best of them, but in terms of his striking, that was always perceived to be a weakness. So what does he do? Changes training camps, and I think you're seeing a lot of fighters do this when they want to take their career to the next level. You have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and make some appreciable changes. Now he's at a striking ah. gym, and his coaches believe beginning tonight, right out of the shoot, you're going to see major strides have been made when it comes to his footwork, his movement, and just his overall attack. I'll trip you. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his tired, takedown defense? Close quarters for a while. Now they separate. Gets home. He's just picking him apart. Oh. Kick to the body. Not too far. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh! What a leg kick. Block. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot Oh my god, what the perhaps fuck? Perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Well, his corner what was pretty fuck? urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control How? of this second round. Thompson gets back up. Reversal and into half guard. Thompson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Huge oh, elbow. elbow to the head. Big elbow there. Oh, that's it. There you go. Get ground and pound. And he got the victory from ruthless, brutal ground and pound. Yeah, oh, Joe, that blood. was some throwback style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas. He wasn't looking to score there. He was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there. Well, oh, his head bounced off of it. Front. This is one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. We can see it one more time from a different oh, angle. Everywhere. Ground and pound at its finest, and that is the shot that ends this fight. Jeez, Check now out look at this, this, look this left elbow. It would bang, and his head the button. dead. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Man, he got me. He's definitely a good boxer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop for this contest. Longevity minutes, definitely took a two hit. Two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Longevity definitely took a hit.